Hi everyone, Perkin here. Today I'm going to teach you how to get 1964 to work on Parsec. We believed for a long time that this is impossible due to Parsec not supporting raw input, but fortunately I found a way and I'm happy to show you what I did. Assuming you're the host, you'll need either a secondary mouse or keyboard. I'm going to use a keyboard for this video. Before opening the emulator, you need to connect your secondary device. Once it's done, open 1964. Now, disconnect your secondary device and then go to input settings. In case you're wondering, the reason why you need a secondary mouse or keyboard is in order to let the emulator know you have another input device, and once disconnected, you're allowing the client to use their mouse or keyboard as secondary. If you keep your input device connected at this point or don't connect it before opening the emulator, the client won't be able to play at all. This is where the best part begins. The player one clicks on detect input devices, clicks again and then presses any key and then the player 2 does the same thing. Now you're both ready to play on Parsec. Okay, so this is the host and this is the client. And as you can see uh, in the host, it is working. You can press the keyboard here, it works. And now the client. This is the mouse, it works. See? So yeah, this is where the video ends. I hope you find this video useful, especially now that the pandemic doesn't allow many of us to play Golden I Am Perfect or with our friends in real life. Thanks for watching.